Good evening with a look at Radio Cayman's local sports. I'm Dion Anglin. The Cayman Islands is set to host the annual Women's Tens Tournament on December 4th through the 5th at the Cayman Islands Rugby Club this year. Mercedes Foy with the Cayman Islands Rugby Club says heading into its fifth year, the number of teams competing and the caliber of play continues to increase. At the moment, there's eight teams that have committed to it, so we'll be welcoming some of the, the best women's rugby players, the best teams, the best coaches from, from all across the Caribbean, by but yeah, it's definitely a go for the 4th and 5th of December. Okay, so is it eight teams including Cayman? Eight teams including Cayman, yes. Okay. All right. Do you have an idea of who the teams are yet? Yes, for sure. There's Jamaica, there's Trinidad and Tobago, there's the Turks and Caicos, just to, to give you an idea of a, of a couple more. But yeah, there's there's potential for Cayman to put in two teams as well, which, which is exciting. So a, an A team and then a development team as well. Okay, they're saying that, that this tournament remains an important development tool for, you know, the women's game, the women's rugby game. Can you tell us why? So often the teams in the car, the women's rugby teams in the Caribbean um, have got enough numbers field seven aside team um, but obviously we've got the 15 aside game as well which they're prioritising for the new WXB game so to try and bridge that gap to get more Car- uh, Caribbean teams involved in playing the 15s game as well, they've introduced this women's 10-a-side tournament, which is obviously a stepping stone towards them being able to field 15-a-side teams. So it's, it's a brilliant plan um, by, by them. Obviously, one, to get women um, back playing rugby, obviously, after such a long break because of COVID. Um, obviously, but at the same point, there's a, there's a bigger development plan in mind for it, which is, is fantastic. Okay, and and what what exactly can we expect from our Cayman team this time around? How prepared are they? So the, the women's rugby program has been running over the summer. Um, it's currently on a break, but kick starts again on Saturday, the 25th of September, between 8.30 and 10 a.m. That's the first session back. So we're welcoming um, all women from across the island, 16 plus. They could be 30 years of age. They could be 40 they could have played rugby before or never have played rugby before, but we're encouraging all women to turn up and come down to that session because there is a real chance that they, they could represent the Cayman Islands at this RAN tournament. So we're welcoming all experience levels, all shapes, sizes, cultures and backgrounds down to our first training session for this new block on Saturday the 25th of September between 8.30 and 10 a.m. The National Men's Rugby 7 side will be travelling to the Turks and Caicos Islands in October for a seven tournament. Moving on to football news, the Lady Wolves Prospect Academy Football Club women's team held its first open practice session this week. While only a few numbers turned up on Wednesday, Lady Wolves coach Chloe Tatum is encouraging women from the Eastern District to show up and play. As expected, you know, being a brand new team, you know, we did have a small number of girls that came out, but that's okay. We're still very optimistic. We held a great training session. We had lots of fun. But again, we remain very optimistic as word gets around, especially with um, with hopes that the radio came out helping that out. We're hoping to really attract and really encourage women, especially in the Eastern District area, um, seeing that we are centered out of the seat of field and prospect. You know, we're really urging you know, Red Bay, the Bond Town, Savannah, prospect and then the eastern district east and north side area you know most of the football teams here are centering out of west bay so you know we are one of the few teams that train at prospect and are um, originally out of town so you know we are opening those doors that we encourage everyone but we really really want to encourage those especially around the area as a new team on the block coach chloe says right now interested female football enthusiasts are welcome to come as you are we are open to all skill sets so you know you could have played 10 years ago but you're just looking to get back in it or you could be a, a novice always watch football or you had friends that play and you yourself want to get into it so we are open to all skill set you know we're going to be welcome to the, the very experienced to the very brand new and we've actually had that last night where we had a young lady who was brand new to the sport where we had others that you know that played for many many years and are I would consider them expertise in their own right. Both Lady Wolves coaches, Chloe and Coach Brown, have represented the Cayman Islands on an international level and are giving back to the football community. So we're very enthusiastic. I'm Coach Chloe and, and Coach Charlie, our Coach Chelsea, is very enthusiastic. And, you know, we both played football for a very long time and Charlie, or Chelsea Brown, has represented us on the international stage several times and played in college. And, you know, we're just hoping to bring the same enthusiasm that 
that we had growing up for the sport to cultivate that same kind of energy and environment back into the sport as it gave so much to us when we were younger and growing up that we're hoping to provide the same fruits that it provided us. Open practice sessions are held on Mondays and Wednesdays from 6.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the CIFA field. And the CUC Girls Primary Football Opening Rally scheduled for this Saturday has been cancelled. Organiser of the tournament, Neil Murray, explains. Unfortunately, we had to cancel the 2021 Girls Primary League Opening Rally simply because some of the schools still haven't had the opportunity or time to confirm or select teams for the, uh, the Girls League, which is understandable given the short time between classes starting and the summer break. So... It's unfortunate, but certainly understandable. We will be doing the boys rally on the 18th and then we'll start the regular season on the 25th. The boys opening rally will continue as usual next Saturday, September 18th. That'll do it for Radio Cayman's local sports for this evening. I'm Dion Anglin.